As you can see, we just finished our second section of flooring. So these two that we just finished are going to be the first floor of the interior of the cabin. Uh, the one we have yet to do in the front there is going to be um, for the porch. So that's our next step. We'll still have to find quite a few more of these to be able to finish the porch floor. But this one here is pretty much done. We just have to nail in these last joists on the second section here. and then we're going to be throwing down some particle board on it. So they're going to be used as kind of a temporary floor to walk on while we continue the build and also possibly the future subfloor if they uh, remain in good enough condition <laughs> until then. Uh, we hope so. I salvaged these from a project uh, many many years ago. Uh, they've been in storage in a barn for uh, quite a few years so they're still in great condition and we're happy to finally be using them. I can't tell you how good it feels to walk on a nice flat surface after walking on rocky, rooty, uneven terrain for months. We've started running out of um, salvageable tips of trees that we can use for the floor joists. Um, we've pretty much gone through all of them that we've cut so far and uh, we've used all the ones that are usable but uh, it's starting to get pretty tough to find uh, any more of them. So what we've decided to do is to just use our five smallest logs uh, that we've had, cut them in half and then use those ones as our floor joists. So uh, we may end up needing to cut uh, a few more. Uh, bigger trees to compensate for that, but they'll have plenty of time to dry uh, over the course of the build uh, before we have to start using them and our priority right now is getting the floor done so that's what we've decided to do.
As you can see, we fixed up our draw knife. We tried a couple different glues, but uh, neither of them were able to hold. We tried duct tape this time, and in true duct tape fashion, it solved all our problems. <laughs> At least for now. We'll see how long it lasts, but uh, it's doing pretty good for now.
You may have noticed that we haven't notched these joists uh, into this one just like we did on that side. Um, that's because we purposely want these ones to overhang. Uh, it'll give us a bit more space on the porch and the overhang will also uh, help protect our structure here from the rain. So we're going to be notching these ones over this log uh, kind of the same way we notch the regular logs on the cabin um, but it'll be a little bit different so uh, we'll show you guys how we're doing that now. Right here. 